We are joined for Star Student today by Harvey Crystal Ryan and Hayley Burrows, our newly appointed head boy and head girl. Congratulations on your roles. Harvey, why did you apply for the role of head boy? Um, I think I applied because the school's done a lot for me. Um, it was it was a nice idea to sort of be able to give something back, especially in such a prestigious role. I, I like the idea of sort of being known as a leader and being able to sort of act as a role model for younger students. Yeah, I think it's a nice thing for students to have someone to look up to and aspire to be. Mm. And what are your plans as head boy and head girl for the year ahead? Hayley, what do you want to bring to the role? Um, I think we'd like to publicise the role a bit more because um, there's been years before where we've not even known who head boy and head girl were. Yeah. So we're going to um, really get involved with the younger students. And we've got a Twitter account if you follow us, at head boy, head girl. Um, tell us about the new house system, Harvey. What impact do you think it will have on the school? I think it's going to have a really, really positive effect. Um, younger years, the house system's really helped me to sort of be competitive. It's helped me to sort of be driven. Um, but also, it's helped me to sort of feel like I'm in a community within the school. It's given me like the sense that I'm part of something, part of something that I can work towards and sort of put effort into, yeah. especially being a part of a team. Um, tell us about your extracurricular involvement with the school, Hayley. Um, well, how long have you got? Um, <laughs> since I've been here, um, I've been involved with lots of extracurricular clubs with music. I've done every school show and concert and um, most recently I've helped organise the school show Oliver. Um, uh, we both take part in link work with younger students as well. Yeah, um, I've sort of, I've done every sort of sporting activity I can since since year seven. Um, I'm, a, I'm a sporting person so I sort of, I like to compete for the school. I think we're both very proud of our school so yeah. sort of any opportunity that we can give something back and offer our time. What are your aspirations for the future post Ball Mesh? Um, I'm looking at possibly applying to Cambridge University to study law and then become a solicitor. Um, I've always been fascinated in sort of how things work because I'm really interested in mechanical engineering so I'm looking to study and I'd like to go to Imperial College. And how do you plan to achieve your aspirations for the future? Um, I think staying motivated and staying driven. Um, having a long term goal is really important. I think sort of setting your targets as far in the future as you can um, sort of gives you something to work towards and then while you're doing work, which might be tedious, you might find it a little bit boring, you might be doing something that you're not as interested in but need to learn, um, it gives you something to think about while you're doing that. Sort of, uh, yeah, and the positive mental attitudes, the glass is always half full. And in light of that, what advice have you got for next year's Year 11 sitting their GCSEs? Um, I think it's really important to uh, plan your study time and also work together on your study and revision and things. Yeah, working together with other people that are interested in your subject area. Yeah. But also look to work with people that you can have a good time with. Work with people that are going to sort of take the pressure off. I think that's really important. Um, yeah, as you say, planning your time is really important yeah. because not only does it help you get your work done, also, if you are a bit behind and you're finding that you're struggling to keep up a little bit, if you, if you come up with a plan and you can sort of plan your time, yeah. then it can take the pressure off. And for any future generations coming into Bullmersh, can you give us three reasons why this is the school for them to choose? I think the first one is definitely the perfect balance between teachers and students. They've got really good teacher-student relationships. Um, I've always found that I can go to any teacher and they're happy to give me their time, they're happy to talk to me about anything. And that leads on to the second point, um, it's a really good atmosphere for working, great learning environment, everybody supports each other. Yeah, um, I think the third one is definitely... Everybody matters. Yeah, yeah. That, no, no, no. everybody does it matter, does, it's, 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 it does link with the first one, I think I can go to any teacher, even teachers that haven't, haven't ever taught me um, and they're always happy to give me their time they're always happy to go through, go through things yeah. I might be unsure about and it, yeah it, it's a perfect learning environment. Fantastic thank you very much and good luck for the future. Cheers. <laughs>